Hey there, cons. Misconduct here, back with part three of our tutorial series. In this segment, we're going to be using the landing trainer that we built in the previous segment. And we're going to try to find the most effective use of this trainer. So to start off, I need you to be familiar with some terminology and, uh, and some concepts like the stages of landing. And if you don't know what the stages of landing are, then go check out Dyslexie's The Art of Flight tutorial series. This is the definitive how to fly tutorial for Arma 3. Um, his, uh, it, his videos are packed with information and the video editing is unbelievably well done. So um, go check out Dyslexie and subscribe to him. He deserves your sub. If you're looking for a funny tutorial, I'd recommend checking out Call Me Tommy. Uh, he has Landing Guide 101. This is a funny tutorial, and it's very good for first-person pilots. So uh, he also deserves your sub and doesn't have enough for the quality that he's putting out and for his sheer abilities as well. So check both of those guys out. The link will be links will be in the description below, and in the meantime, I am going to assume that you have already done that and move on. So we're going to use our landing trainer that we built in the most effective possible manner. So one of the reasons we're using a landing trainer is because we don't want to learn in King of the Hill the way I did. That was a terrible mistake in retrospect. That is, um, I. Did it by trial and error, eventually got good, but I killed many, many people along the way. And to them, I apologize, and hopefully me making this kind of tutorial might help make up for that. So, jumping right into it, the first thing that we're going to want to do is take advantage of the fact that we are in the editor, and, and that we have made our own mission, and we are going to right-click and check the attributes for our pilot and come down here to Object Special States, and where we see Enable Damage, we are going to turn that off, so our pilot is invincible. Then we're going to do the same thing to our helicopter, so our pilot and our helicopter are both invincible, whereas the troops and our co-pilot are not. And we're going to play as the character, and we're going to fly on into town. So the stages of landing are, simply put, we have a bleed flare, we move into the balance state, and then finish off our landing by touching down. And that can be done to greater or lesser degrees in any one of those stages, and in many different ways. But the gist of it is, is that if you're doing a bleed flare, uh, usually if you want to do it quickly, you're rolling to the right or the left uh, pretty hard, 90 degrees or so, and then um, pulling up, so cyclic backward. And then we would simultaneously use Z or collective lower and move into the balanced state where we roll back up. So we're going to try that out right here. We're going to hit Z or collective lower. We're going to roll almost 90 degrees and we're going to bank up and then we're going to roll back as we find ourselves in the balanced state. In the balanced state we're able to use our pedals more effectively and then we can touch down and finally land. So because we're using the editor we have uh, and, we, and that we are invincible in the editor we have the unique opportunity to practice that which is most difficult in flying, which is landing, and we can practice the most difficult aspect of landing, which is the balance state, if you ask me. Uh, and you are asking me, which is why you're watching this video. So, one thing about King of the Hill and any other sort of highly uh, involved sort of military shootouts is that enemies could be anywhere at any time. And to me that means we need to eliminate the last stage of landing. 
So, at any given time, you might set yourself up in front of an enemy. And when that happens, you know, because it's armor, it takes a second for them to get set up. So they may not actually be ready to kill you as you approach your landing zone, but seconds afterwards they may be there. And that means that the burning wreckage that will be your helicopter is now the most dangerous thing to the troops you just dropped off. So what we want to do is get out of there as quickly as possible, and the best way to do that is to not actually touch down, but to come to a, a hover. And then we can just get out of there really fast. I'll urge you now not to worry about those guys who are, you know, playing from Guam and have, you know, a terrible connection and haven't jumped out yet or they went to the bathroom or went to get a drink or whatever reason that they are not ejecting don't wait around for those guys um, you can either give them a free ride back to spawn or you can try to do something all fancy and just do a second landing somewhere might actually be a good opportunity to do your tower landings if you're not that practice at it at least in game but as far as this tutorial is concerned we're going to try to eliminate the uh, the actual landing portion of the stages of landing and do only bleed flares and the balance state. Now because bleed flares are essentially just sharp turns and then combining a... Uh, well, that's one way to do them. The most effective bleed flares are really just sharp turns while also using collective lower... What we're going to do is come down here into the city with our invincible helicopter and we're going to fly around in the balanced state for as long as possible. And the reason we're going to do that is because when you're landing, uh, the shortest amount of time that you spend doing any one of the stages of landing is usually the balanced state. As soon as you find yourself in the balanced state, you would usually touch down and then be off. But that's such a short period of time that it's essentially um, it, 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 very, very helpful to, to get extra practice. And the very best way to do that, I think, is to put yourself in a very dangerous scenario while still having the freedom to, to do dangerous things. And that means get in the editor and... Uh, Make yourself an invincible helicopter and practice being in the balanced state for a very long time. So by very long time, I mean consecutive hours of this will exponentially increase your flying abilities, your skill set. By pedaling and rolling and pitching into your turns repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly, you will get very, very proficient at managing the helicopter under arguably pretty dangerous conditions. Uh, mind you, no one's shooting at us right now. But flying between houses and all that, this with the damage off is, you know, it's difficult. Or it can be. Uh, and there's no reason why you shouldn't practice doing this with the damage off to get the hang of it and then when you're very comfortable with it then turn the damage back on so I would say bare minimum be able to fly around in the city like this at at least 30 kilometers an hour getting it up to a hundred kilometers an hour if you can um, and turning as often as you can and playing with the controls as much as you can. And disregarding when you, not disregarding, but not worrying that you hit something, but learning from it without actually stopping your educational momentum. And that's really the key to this. That's the reason why we're gonna use the editor and why we're gonna make ourselves invincible is so that we don't stop flying for any reason and if you come in here and do this for four hours straight, 
you will be a far better pilot than you were when you started. So to describe what I'm doing right now, uh, maintaining my speed, my altitude is not really that difficult. Um, I'm barely even touching anything. You can see my key presses. I'm not really touching the, you know, collective razor lower that often. And when I do, it's very uh, delicate, quick touches to make sure that I'm at the right altitude or the right speed. And some of this is just going to be intuitive. You're not going to, you know, learn from me how to do a barrier flare here. You're going to teach yourself how to do a barrier flare here. But the gist of what I'm doing is that I am rolling into my turn, or sorry, pardon me, the, I'm pedaling into my turn, then rolling into my turn, and then pivoting into my new direction. And then using collective lower, lightly flaring the nose up in order to diminish the speed and change my direction and do it again. And all the while I'm trying to stay as low as possible while going as fast as possible. And the more I can do that without actually tapping anything, without actually touching anything, the better I am and the better I'll become. Now keeping in mind that this type of practice does have the ability to teach you some bad habits as exemplified right there. If you're already a good pilot, uh, hopping into the editor and making yourself invincible can be quite addictive because this is actually insanely fun to do. Uh, but if you do it wrong for long periods of time, you might find that translates into your regular live game with other players and you don't want that. So if you find yourself tired or just getting complacent about the fact that you keep hitting things. Uh, either slap yourself in the face and get out of it, or just jump right out of the editor and do something else for a while and come back when you're fresh, because you really want to be using this time to teach yourself how to be an expert pilot. So once again, this balanced state and our ability to adaptively fly between any given objects is essential for doing a combat landing or at, or really any other kind of maneuvering um, and by essential I mean you can easily learn without but not that easily not this easily so we're gonna mainly practice the balanced state in these arguably harsh conditions and when you're ready, and you'll know when you're ready, uh, maybe one good indicator is that when you stop at any given time, these troops who are not invincible will start jumping out. That's a good sign. That means you have not hit things enough to kill them. If they're all just dead on the side, that means you've been, uh, that means you've been making contact where you shouldn't have. And uh, that means it's time to refresh and start again. Or just keep flying, but when you want to be tested, uh, using those guys can be quite helpful. So what I would recommend is if you can get to the stage where you can fly around in here for half an hour and all six troops jump out after that half an hour, then you are ready to turn the damage off and go again. Uh, pardon me, you're ready to turn the damage back on and go again. And when you can do all this with the damage on, you are ready to do some combat landings. And we will see you in that segment. All right, guys, practice away. I'm expecting four hours of practice out of anybody watching this, and I will be watching somehow. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy this tutorial. Uh, pardon me, enjoy this uh, this training method. Uh, it is really, really fun. I'm going to finish up on that note, and I will see you in the combat landings, adaptive flying, and emergent landing zones segment to come. <laughs>